Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam, and I have here a very nice trumpet that we'll review briefly. It is a Selmer Chorus 80J. It is a um, relatively recent horn, certainly not vintage. Selmer is no longer producing them, and of course, Selmer of Paris, uh, the maker of this horn, is probably uh, most well known for the tremendous saxophone they put out, the Selmer Mark VI. They also made uh, brass instruments. I don't think ever that quite rose to the level of fame of their uh, saxophones, but uh, these trump <coughs> excuse me, these trumpets are wonderful instruments. I'll talk more about it in just a moment, but uh, we'll give you an example of a simple C scale for the trumpet just to give you an idea of the tone. instrument. Uh, I would, if, if I were trying to describe it, I would actually say balanced. Uh, it's not a light horn. It weighs, I believe, two pounds, four ounces. Uh, what's that going to be? 36 ounces. Um, but it does not have a tremendously heavy feel to it. Uh, it's well balanced. Uh, the bottom caps are substantial. I don't know if you'd call them heavyweight, but it's a, a good uh, distribution of weight. For those of you that have had the Selmer K modified 24B through the years, you might re, uh, remember what uh, the little uh, spit valve pieces look like. They've got a little ornateness there on the end of these and uh, the bulb here. So um, a similar look there. Um, you know, they do have a good looking valve block. Of course, your bottom caps and here in the center of the valve casings. Um, just nice uh, valve buttons as well. Uh, really a, a good looking instrument, but this horn is extremely well balanced. Um, here at the tuning slide, same thing for the third and the first slide as well, you've got a small indentation, uh, what I call a reservoir that can hold some oil lubrication. And uh, I think always that's a nice feature. Generally, I've seen that in vintage horns, but not so much in new horns anymore. As I look at this horn, it appears to be the smallest uh, lead pipe uh, from the exterior that I can, I can remember. But it is a very wide open feeling horn. The bore size is slightly larger than the medium large. I think you're talking 461 or 462, something like that. I really feel it plays more open than that. Um, just no obstructions to this. And I think the tone is the same way. Although it is uh, two pound, four ounces, um, it's, it's not, not got your heavy, dull sounding bell. I would say that this horn really has a good sparkle to it. That's my impression at least. And um, well, I don't know what more we could say, but uh, wonderful instrument uh, since they're no longer making them. And the serial number of this was around 9,000. So they obviously... Um, excuse me, 92,000, uh, didn't make uh, hundreds and thousands of them. Um, but uh, if you can find one, it, um, it is a, a very, very fine instrument. Okay, we'll just tootle around on a, uh, uh, first of all, a little exercise, again, to give you an idea of the tone of the instrument. Then we'll try and play a chorus. <laughs> And I know something else I was, uh, was intending to mention. The bell on this instrument is, uh, seems to me like the bell bead is a little smaller than usual. Uh, when I started playing this trumpet first, I thought uh, how nimble it was, how, how easy it was to get around on. And um, of course, there's a lot of elements that go into the design of a horn. And uh, this certainly is well done. But I, I just wondered if that smaller bell bead didn't have something to do with the nimble feel of the horn. Very easy to move around on it. 
very even in the top and bottom registers. Another thing that I noticed, and I use a pretty small mouthpiece, the equivalent probably to a Bach uh, ten and a half D, how easy the low register was. <laughs> sharp. It's just so hard to reach. With this, it just really uh, speaks quite well. And the upper register is just as easy. The first night I got a hold of it, and I'm not a big high note guy, I was aiming for an F above high C, and I popped out a G above high C. Not earth shaking, but it was just so easy to reach. Um, it did surprise me. It, uh, the horn is um, a very easy blow, but it's not a brassy sound. I think it's a quality sound. All right, we'll try and play an old chorus and uh, just give you an idea how that goes. trumpet and a privilege to be able to do a review on an instrument of this quality. Hope you've enjoyed it. I think uh, one of my uh, reviews or comparisons that turned out really good was this Selmer Chorus 80J and a Callet Jazz, both really similar horns to my way of thinking in the end product. Similar tone, but uh, great horns, two of the finest horns certainly I've ever been privileged to have. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day.